welcome back everybody and thank you for tuning into this week's video today we'll be prepping a gastropod fossil now if you take a closer look at this fossil you can tell that there's a small gap in between the rock and the fossil itself going pretty much all the way around the fossil so hopefully it's just sitting really nice inside the rock versus being completely attached to the rock because in the long run that'll make it 10 times easier to get it out Another thing to keep in mind is that this rock appears to have a bunch of fossil fragments going throughout the rock, so we'll have to make sure that we don't accidentally destroy another fossil that we could end up getting out in the end. The tools we'll be using to do this are our trusty pin pusher, along with wearing our safety glasses, and then our gloves, so we don't stab our hand with the pin pusher. But, without further ado, Let's get in the video. Okay, so being that there's a lot of smaller fossils on this, I'm basically just gonna start right around the fossil because as you can see, it appears that the fossil is not very attached to the rock itself. So we're just gonna try and go around it here, see if we can jar it loose. Oh, we got a gastropod fossil. That's kind of cool. That aside. Okay, so a midway update. I can't even see the screen. That's what our fossil looks like right now. We've started chipping away some of this bottom part, and then we've got some of this taken back, so there's a bit more of a gap there. Not by much, though. An interesting part where that little gash pod came from, we've got another one right there. So I'll have to see if we can get that out in one piece while still getting the bigger piece out. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Look at that tiny little one. So, over the last few days, I logged a few more hours of work time on this gastropod rock, and we were able to get the main fossil out, along with a few fragments, all of which you'll see here in a few minutes. One thing I do want to touch on is I started working along this fracture line, which is basically a weak point in the rock. Um, I'm sure there's a scientific reason for this, but for some reason, there always seems to be fossils running along this line. So whenever I see it, I always try and crack it open to see what's on the inside. This time, we got a nice surprise. We got a relatively big gastropod, especially for being in the middle of the rock. and a few more smaller ones sitting in there around it. And you can see there's a bunch more uh, imprints and fragments too. So, your pictures are coming here in a second, but if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay up to date with more videos like this in the future.